Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Welcome to a Friday night broadcast of the Salivate Metal Channel. That's right, indeed. That was not a very innovative intro there, but I digress. I'm a little nervous because I'm afraid that somebody's going to actually show up and watch this thing. And that's really what it boils down to. That's the reason. But here we are. We are here. It is a Friday night. I hope everybody has had a good uh, week so far. It is not just any Friday. And some people may not even call it a great Friday or even a good Friday. But it is good Friday. And it is the day that we, uh, we um, remember the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. And Jesus, for those of you who celebrate the time of year... Easter's coming up in three days. That's right. And uh, so, yes, indeed. Good to see you guys here. And the markets are crazy. And uh, But, yeah, we're going to press on, though, and we are going to uh, do what we do here. But we'll have a good little chat as we answer some of these comments and talk to you guys here on the side. We've got all those one now. We've got Vogus here. We've got... Donald in New Mexico here, Acrobatic Jesus or Jesus is here, David Villabelba is here, good to see you, I think your first uh, time being here, Highlanders, Highlander Stacken is here, hello, and Vogus is here, good to see all you guys, welcome, all right, we've got Napalm Death here, very good, there's a lot of good folks here, we've got Sterling Cannabis here, good, good group of people popping in here, very good. All right, Silversmith, too. So let's get into these comments. Uh, on the How I Bought This Gold Coin for Spot Price video, the buffalo is better than age. There's less tax on pure gold, meaning more buyers for your coin. Yes. All right. In fact, I haven't heard that, uh, you know, if you do uh, sell these or remove them, they, they don't, uh, since it's American gold, you won't get a 1099 for them if you have to sell or whatever. But anyway, Stacking Sword Troopers here. Good to see you. All right. He's about to sit and eat dinner. Going on at 8.30 tonight. Uh, doing two auctions in a week. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed your last auction. But thank you, Stacking Sword Troopers. So he is going to be on tonight at 8.30. So you want to check Stacking Sword Trooper at 8.30 tonight. Very good. And Highlander Stacker, thank you so much. First fist bump. Awesome. That's pretty cool, man. Thank you so much for that super chat, my friend. Very kind of you. All right. Nice indeed. All right. Yeah, everybody's still on lockdown for sure. Medio Man says, beautiful coin, Sal, but spot is way above my tolerance level, especially since the Canadians, it's about $2,359. Yes, I understand. It is, it's getting out of my reach too, my friend. All right. Oh, wow. Hey, thank you, my friend. Stacking Stormtrooper, I haven't told you lately that I love you. Oh, man. There's no one else above you. That's right. Isn't that that old song? Uh, what's his name? Brian Adams or whatever. But yes, thank you mo so much, my friend. Appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to check out his uh, live stream where he will be doing an auction at 8.30 at Stack and Stormtrooper channel. Good to see you. All right. Okay. Kendall Kid is here. Hello, Kendall Kid. Good to see you. Slow Stacker is here. Yes, indeed. I need a, How many days is it now he had been in quarantine, Slow Stacker? Have you, is it over with yet? Are you more than halfway, I know, but... Uh, I did wash my hands before the chat. Uh, in other words, before the chat uh, seven days ago, I did wash my hands. Rod Stewart, that's it. Thank you. All right. Mark B is here. Hello, Mark B. All right. So let's get on back on. you got Dakini Woman. This is on the Stop This Scam video. I have seen that Tom comment on many channels. Yes. Everywhere, everywhere. And it's not just precious metal channels either. It's a bot that goes around and... Somebody made a comment saying, well, you know, what harm does it do? They're, they're leaving you a nice comment. Well, the harm in it is, is that they are using a bot program to try to sucker people in to, um, to their own vi channels, videos, and to even eventually, you know, it could lead to people spending their money on them and everything like that. It's just, a, it's just rude and it's, uh, it's cheating. All right. Today is day 14. Care to mention the thing to i'm doing um yeah uh yes yeah, so slow stacker has to be um on if you check out slow stacker's channel he is on a quarantine because he works in the healthcare industry uh, or he is a first responder rather 
and he has had to had contact with somebody with COVID-14, so he has had to stay in quarantine for 14 days. So follow his journey on his channel and check it out. Very good. All right. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Chief Lechiefin is here. Good to see you. All right. Kendall Kid, pull the president. Oh, man, I don't know if I'd be that good. I'd be in trouble very quickly. Silver Smith lost his uncle to COVID. I'm so sorry, Silver Smith. Wow. You know, you're the second person that I know who has lost their uncle to COVID. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that. Wow, that's awful. It really hits home for you. I, I tell you what, this is um, the number of deaths multiplied over is uh, more than, um, you know, how many 9-11s put together. It's just awful. It's absolutely heartbreaking. Website guy, you're a slick collector, but not really true. Uh, yes, indeed. Well, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but thank you. A nice catch man says Alex Miles. Thank you so much, Alex. Appreciate that. All right. And uh, Desert Tracker says, I thought we were all going to buy gold with our gold envelopes at the same time. Oh, yeah, no, no. There was never a, a time limit on that. Um or it's a go at your own pace type of deal. Because if you tried to time everybody to buy at the same time, you'd have, there's no way. Some people go at completely different paces than other people. I think that's, uh, yeah, I don't know where you heard that, but I don't know of anybody who has even said that in the challenge, but thank you. All right. Joe Costello is here. Hello, Joe. Good to see you. Jim Short says, nice buy, Sal. Scottsdale is still one of the best buys out there, but they did raise their prices today. You can find... As good a buy at Monument Metals now. Yes, Monument Metals does seem to be pretty competitive in their prices, for sure. All right. CCD is here. Hello. Good to see you. Okay. Lady Bullion says, oh, dang it. I thought he was so nice. Thanks for the info and looking out for us all. Yes, I know, Lady Bullion. Yep. I tell you, people are slick, or they're... Their mechanism is a slick. Grow Mechanic is here. Hello. Good to see you. Okay. I need a TP envelope. That's right. I need an envelope full of TP. That's right, Donald. Native Stacker says, Sal, good deal considering current events. I'm watching my spending, so no Buffalo for me, at least not now. Well, that's very wise, Native. I think that's a good move. You know, uh, be safe and uh, <clears throat> and have a little cash on the side for sure. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, where's Barb, Terry, and Pudenda? We haven't seen Pudenda. Pudenda hasn't come around as much um, these days, but we hope she comes back. And, yeah, we're missing uh, Barb, and we're missing Terry. Rob Burris says, jealous. Oh, man, don't be jealous, my friend. I tell you what, it, um, you know, everybody goes at their own pace, and uh, any little bit of gold counts, you know, so... Yes, indeed. But thanks, Rob, for watching. Wizbank says, if I were to get a gold ounce, what would be my? That would be my second choice. First choice would be Freedom Girl from the Golden State Mint. Okay. All right. Thank you, thank you, Wizbang. It's a magnificent, magnificent coin. Says Mike makes right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mark Medlin is here. Good to see you. Okay. Sooner Stacker just bought a one ounce gold buffalo. Congratulations. What'd you pay for yours, Sooner Stacker? 820? 1820? Maybe 1840 tops? To get a good deal on it? Stone Stir says, Good score, Sal. I scored a one ounce swan for 1780 last week, but I knocked 380 off that price by selling 100 ounces of silver, then buying 110 ounce silver back again and a profit of 380 to make the gold buy cheaper for myself. So I got. One ounce gold for fourteen hundred dollars. Nice score. Nice job. Well done. Train a little silver for gold. Very cool. Okay. Uh, Alone Desert Wolf says on this American Gold Eagle and, and Gold Double Eagle comparative study says my personal preference. I really like the more scuffed, worn look of the Double Eagle than the pristine, perfect look of the Gold Eagle. Old just looks better than modern to me, even though the obverse is practically the same. Yeah, I understand. And it's a little softer look, too, from the 
on the St. Gaudens, on the classic Devil Eagle. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. CCT, that bloody spammer. Tom dropped four freaking comments on my video. Oh, man. Is, uh, did you just post one recently? You know what to do, CCT. You got to block that son of a biscuit. Block him like crazy. Report and block. Mm. Okay, where are we at? A bullish silver video and nine dislikes. Wow, people are so sensitive. Yep, I know. And I know who some of those are who did that. Whenever I talk good about silver, I kind of know the, uh, the, the group of people who will dislike the video. It's all right. Real my Corona. That's right, Eddie's little stack. Thank you so much. Nice deal, says Richard C. on the gold buff there. Although some people say the correct term is a bison, but what's the difference between a bison and a buffalo? I think it's the same thing, right? Hello, Barbara Carbone. Good to see you. Good to see Barbara. She made it. You made it. She made it. Barbara made it. First of the Sal's gals. All right. Nomadic Frenchman says, nice comment. You should have more subsidies. There you go. Danger, danger. Will Robinson. Yes. Danger, danger. Will Robinson. By the way, Juan Ortiz is here and says, Lucian Graves. Got a 10 ounce gold crew for 180. Nice. Goodbye. Considering today's prices, for sure. Silver and AU. Love the Buffalo. Also want to pick up a 2020 this year. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hope you can get one. I really do. All right, I think you would be a great LCS owner. Yeah, no, that's not my. That's not for me. I don't think I'd want to be a. That's too risky of a business. I think these days. But it would be fun, talking with the customers and stuff like that. But you know what? I can talk to you guys. Yes, indeed. Silver Bridges says. The king of U.S. gold, in my opinion. I sure wish they would bring back the fractional buffalo again. Yeah, that would be pretty cool if they did that. That only came out for one year. One year only. Hello, Herb Ash. Good to see you, sir. Herb Ash is here. All right. As we scroll on up. Fiat Destroyer says, well done, Sal. I really hope to get one of these sometime. I hope you can, too, my friend. I really do. He says, thanks for the heads up on the Stop the Scam video. All right, very good. Let's see here. May the Schwartz be with you, says Sal. Spending over $1,700 for a gold coin is silly. We are near record highs. The key to wealth is the acquisition of valuable assets and value prices and selling them at inflated prices. You're doing the opposite. Well, not according to today's prices, I'm not. Uh, may the Schwartz be with you. And the thing is, is that's always the gamble you play. Because uh, if I would have bought it at 1400 and then it would have went down to 1200 you would say the same thing. But if it's at 1700 and it goes up to $1,900, well, I'm a smart dude. It all just goes back down to uh, taking your chances. And uh, sometimes there is chance-taking or risk-taking to a certain degree when you buy precious metals. It's about dollar cost averaging in the end. All right. Joe says, beautiful bison coin, but you think they would replace in a nice round case with that black circular border for it. Well, I actually have one of those, and I did put it in that case. He's got a fractional 2020 uh, quarter ounce gold eagle coming next week, and I feel good that I got it for 450 Yeah, now over $500 if you can even get them. Wow, good job, Joe. You timed it. Mr. Sting says, Buffalo is in New York. Matrimony is baloney. She'll, she'll be wanting alimony while we... Still has dough. Off they're going to shuffle, shuffle off the buffalo. All right. All right. Let's see. When it comes down to the value of something, not the worth of same thing. All right. Yep. Oh, let's see. Joe also says, Tom, thumb up indicates the robotitis virus. I also foresaw YouTube censorship. My channel has no viz because it went to bit shoot. And also, if you ever smell one of my beer farts, you know I'm for real. Thanks for the heads up, Sal. Yes. Yeah, I tried the bit shoot thing. Uh, they were supposed to be able to, to harvest videos from YouTube, but that doesn't work. And I tried reaching out to them. Not a single response when I contacted their customer support. 
no help at all, so I ban them, bitch you, screw them. All right, let's see. Terry's here. She made it. All right, good to see Terry. Ah. Silver Strike says, beautiful coin. Congrats on an impressive addition to your stack. Thank you, Silver Strike. Hi, Steve is here. Hello, hi, Steve. Welcome. He still has, um, he's still stacking on the face of death. All right, Sam Tom. I'm not sure exactly what that means. But thank you. All right. Uh, me, whatever's has an icon. Of, I don't know what that icon is. But anyway, Joey says, I did, I did same. Got some at 1475 spot. Paid one ounce on some Matthew bars, 1590 each. Wow. All right. Nice. Okay. Good job. But it was much lower. Very good. Me, whatever. Why didn't you just hold out? Nothing's more dangerous than panic purchasing. You know better than I do. Gold will come back down. Just got to hold out a little longer. I don't know that. In fact, I'm thinking it's going to go up. We may see it go back down, but you don't know. You don't know better than anybody else what gold's going to do. Uh, I think there's more uh, momentum to the upside at this point, considering what's going on. I'd be very surprised if it went back down. Seriously. But I hope you're right. I do hope you're right, but that's why I bought it. Plus, the supply chain is still, I don't think the, um, I don't believe the Royal Canadian Mint's opened back up, and San Francisco just closed down, and some people are saying that uh, uh, parts of the Philadelphia Mint is closed down too. We'll see. West Point was closed down. I think it's open now, but I'm not sure. DW says, looks to me like the Indian on the buffalo has a tear dropping from his eye as you talked about the high price you paid for the gold coin. Yes, could be, could be. Stacking and packing subs are back below 100. Well, hey, you know, this guy never subs to your channel. He just comments on it. Let's have an almond. All right. Happy Good Friday to Vertical Stacker. Good to see you. Yes, Good Friday to you all. Remember this day and what it represents. Indeed. The ultimate sacrifice for our sins. Indeed. Jesus. All right. Where are we at? Andre G says, I think everyone had a comment from Tom or Trap City, Trap Town. I don't have a problem with these comments under my videos. Every view and every comment is a good for the YouTube algorithm. Actually, you would think that would be the case, but it is not, Andre G. They never visit your channel, and and comments. the The problem with it is the is the what little bit it does to the algorithm, which is negligible at best, uh, pales in comparison to the damage it does to the whole system. It's a it's a it's not a view. Um, it is an automated comment that goes under every new video within a certain lot of time. They never see your channel. They never see your video. It is a bot. And so that is why um, it is not good because they're essentially cheating to get views and to potentially scam people once they get that channel built up. All right. Very good. So that's why it's important. All right. Glenn D got his goose. Refresh my memory about the goose. What did you get? Did you get a swan? Hello, Coins A to Z. Good to see you. All right, very good. Good info, Sal, says Mr. Popzilla. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's a beaut, says not a polite Canadian. Hey, thank you, my friend. Not a polite Canadian. Good to see you in APC. Okay. Uh, do you need a special Good Friday cookie? You sound stressed. Oh, man, no, no, I'm all good. It's a good Friday. It's a good Friday. Yes, indeed. MMA matchup. Beavis or Butthead? I think Beavis could whip Butthead's butt. You know, usually it's the other way around, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Leonard, A320. These are deficits in silver, big premiums on coins. Why doesn't it... Why doesn't it two up? Uh... There are, there are deficits in silver product 
big premiums and coin. Why doesn't it two up? I'm not sure what the question is, but thank you, Leonard. Cybercurrent Twitcher says, beautiful coin, my friend. One of my suppliers did have pre-33 gold for spot the other day. They all flew right out the door. Wow, man, that's too bad you couldn't take advantage of that. Although, I know it's way above that $1,300 level, which I know you liked or was hoping it would get down to. I think it's going to be a while before we see that, even if it does go down a little bit. We'll see here. Slurp and push up. Two bits. There you go. Uh, oh, man. Okay, CCT chats with NAPC regularly. Rarely see comments from him anymore, though. Well, uh, tell him I said hello, and I appreciate him popping on the channel. And just tell him I said hi. I hope he's doing well. NAPC is a good guy. Not a polite Canadian. You supposed videos actually was a victim of the Fort McHenry fires of 2000 and Fort McMurray fires of 2016 in Canada, which were devastating fires. Uh, you pulled through, and we're glad of that. Ended up uh, finding some um, some new housing and the like, which is good. All right, let's see here. Today, 2184. Yeah, the price has really gone up on the US debt clock. I might need to do a revised video on that. Still below last year high price. Silver spot price still below last year's high price. Uh, yes, that's right. Yep. Colorado Kid says, I was looking at these earlier today, Sal. I think you got a great deal. I was thinking about getting the 2020 proof. But it's way too expensive. Yeah, twenty three hundred dollars for that. Crazy. Thing is, is those gold proofs, buffaloes and eagles from the U.S. Mint. In a few years, the the premiums just just collapse on those. You're better off waiting and getting those on the secondary market. Great content says Silver Strike. Thank you, Silver Strike. He's joking because that's kind of the generic comment that these people leave. Transspecies Growler Bear says, I'm reluctant to even type it as it's so hard for me to even believe, but could this be the end of privately owned Fed and the return of control of our own money supply to Congress? Dear God, I hope so. Yeah, that's what some people have theorized. Uh, we shall see. I haven't heard much more about that about it since then, though. We've got 89 watching, 31 thumbs up now. Thank you, guys. I'm no one says, how is this not reflected in the spot price as well? Well, because it's different. This is the physical money supply printed year on year compared to the year on year silver mined supply. Vastly different uh, numbers, different ratio. All right, very good. Because the other thing is based off uh, market conditions. This is based off of statistics. Big difference. Thousand Dare Radio says, I missed this video. I was drinking heavy three years ago. All right, wait. Well, hey, well, you're here now, sober and fancy free. Thanks, Thousand Dare Radio. Silver Valley Coins of Boyne used to be Trap Town on some other music channel and just ignore their comments on my vids. Yes, understand, and I usually do too, but I learned more about them, and so I blocked them and to prevent other people from getting on there and uh, seeing them and possibly potentially going and subscribing to their channel. That's the only way you're going to stop them uh, because they, they skirt the terms of service cleverly by doing that stuff but anyways rate christian middleman narnia they're okay i'm not as big on the vocals a lot of those power metal bands some of their vocals are not the best and uh, narnia is a power metal band kind of like um i don't know how would you compare them maybe like hammerfall or something like that but they're they're a pretty good band i like that they're a christian metal band but uh yes indeed all right very good Okay. Aussie Coin Girl says, it's a beautiful coin. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Aussie Coin Girl. I think you're new to the channel, or at least new to comments. I appreciate that. All right. Savage Stacker says, I hate the fact that these things are like the first and second comment on our channel is blocked. Yes, I know. Me too. And uh, yeah, it's never a good thing. Uh, you shouldn't just ignore them. You should block them, as Savage Stacker did. That's right. Awesome says Silver Wolverine. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Very good. Let's see here. Gene Lawley says, What's the big deal with buying a spot? Spot chart changes every day. I bought one ounce of gold a few weeks back at a premium. Over spot, but today I made a good profit on it. 
Spot is irrelevant unless. Yeah, no, I know. I hear that's kind of the point of the video, Gene. It's exactly the point of the video, actually. Okay. Uh, Jorn Lande. Never heard of Jorn Lande. Never heard of Jorn Lande, slow stacker. Uh, Mark Nordgaard. Uh, look at the jump in gold and silver on US debt clock. The silver, gold 19277. Silver 2325. Yeah, I'll need to do an update the video on that for sure. Kendall Kid asks, is Alan Gold my twin brother? Uh, yes, we were fraternal twins at birth. And uh, he was born a girl. And uh, he got a sex change at the age of five and has been demented ever since. He's yet to really uh, grasp his gender identity. He became the, the black sheep of the family. Left home at the age of six. Has been a troll living under a bridge ever since then, performing various genital mutilation uh, rituals by himself ever since. That's why he is so disturbed and types in all capital letters. Ah, let's see here. John Smith says, It's a very elegant coin. It feels like a deeply rooted part of American history. I'd love to own one. On another note, income tax returns came in recently. It can kind of soften the blow on an increased prices so it doesn't feel so bad. That's very true, John. I mean, yeah, if you're, if I'm, I make a purchase sometimes, you can soften that blow with that. Smart employee, hello. Please check out the black metal band, The Committee. They're very big fans of precious metals and cryptos as well. Thanks. Wow, never heard of them. The Committee. And they're a black metal band. That's cool. Interesting. Do they sing about precious metals and cryptos? Okay. Very good. Then Sunday, when we celebrate his resurrection. That's right. Spectacular is exactly right about that. And people don't realize, too, that it's tomorrow that Jesus, uh, you know, he didn't just hang around for those uh, three days, just, you know, sitting back and just waiting for the call to come out of the grave or out of the tomb. He was in hell, kicking Satan's butt and getting the keys. He had to get a set of keys. That's what he did. Uh, he descended into hell. Literally, Jesus went to hell and got the keys of death and Hades, then rose again on the third day. And uh, yes, indeed. All right. Sounds like Sal singing a double Dutch bus YouTube video. Very cool. All right. Eli in the Wolverine State. Seen on Silver Report uncut this morning. First comment. All right. Yes, all right, you got it. You've seen it. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They have a song called Finance. It's on YouTube. It's about everything that's wrong in the financial system. Okay, well, that's cool. Very cool. Savage Stacker is here. Good to see you, Savage. Appreciate it being here, my friend. Mm. Ah. Let's see here. Paul Wood. Hey, thank you, Paul Wood, for the super chat. He's he says, very cool channel. I hope everything, everyone's doing well. Yes, everybody's doing great. I hope you are too. And thank you for being here. Everybody be safe out there. This is going to be this week and next. It's going to be the worst weeks, I think, for this thing. But if we can pull through, and uh, then hopefully we'll get through this thing quicker. All right. Now, 2326 on this video. Yep, I need to do an update video on it. Probably will be coming soon. Kalanick Stacker Behemoth is scheduled to play in Moscow on May the 15th. The virus may save them from getting their tailbones kicked by President Putin. Well, I'm hoping that they'll be con converted before Sunday so they can celebrate Easter. That would be nice. Uh, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Okay. Gyoza is here. We love listening to your show. Thank you, Gyoza. Appreciate that so much. All right. Rocky's here. We got Rocky here. We have Mr. Sting is still here. And Mark B is here. Michael Martin is here. All right. Thanks for the info, Sal, says Silver Wolverine. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that watching. About this scammer that's out there. And he's also blocked a few of them as well. Very good. Glad you did. I'm very glad. Very glad. 
<clears throat> okay. Losing Louie says, beautiful gold coin and fresh off the press too. Gosh, that not that long ago is paying twelve fifty an ounce. I know it's crazy how the prices have just went up like crazy. Uh, thank you, Spectacular. I thumbed up the video. Did you? Man, I'm not sure. About uh, just under half the viewers have so far. Hmm. I know when I'm done, I'm going to go to heaven because I served my time in hell. I know Marine. Yes, that's right. Pretty good. All right, let's see here. Savage Stacker says, uh, Eximer Tracks is another one that I just hit my comment section. I can't stand those bots. They are quick. Yes, they are. Wow. See, there's already other ones. Another one called uh, something PayPal. And uh, it was crazy. And then it's, yeah, nuts. All right, Richard C. says, I don't think so, Salivate. It's going to be a while, maybe years, before the economy to get back to pre-pandemic era. I think most people will be struggling to get back to work, pay their car payments, house payments. It will be bleak indeed, have stopped all gold and silver purchases until I see what happens with the economy. I don't think there will be a demand for silver in such a long time. I think a lot of these people are blowing smoke trying to keep the metal prices high. That's, you know, you, you might be right about the metal prices, but I'm a little bit more bullish on the recovery of the economy. It just depends on how long we stay shut down. And you think about it, we've never been here before. It was essentially a government-mandated shutdown by state governments out there. And a lot of this is driven by the virus. Once the virus is out of the way, people are going to want to get back to work. People are going to want to go see movies. People are going to want to go to restaurants. Uh, you know, we may be a surge. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but uh, it's going to be hard to really um, engage what... Uh, what it's going to be but anyways as a youtube channel you can buy people viewing your channel and increase your money yeah which is kind of cheating in a way yep red pill yep we are yeah we talked about that definitely and it's gone up and who knows what it'll be tomorrow it keeps going up because they're printing money like it's going out of style and that's reflecting it on that website art mc uh McCromsky says, good advice here, folks. Now that it's beginning to get hard to find gold in stock, you got to be ready to buy when these coins become available. I like to keep 2K or so stashed away when the deals pop up so they don't last long these days. My fave size right now is a 10th ounce, 3.3 grams. and look hard enough, you can find good deals. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you can still find those deals out there. That's good. So, yeah, exactly right. Steven is here. Good to see you. Steven, welcome, my friend. I was having the slurp of coffee for Barb. Is she still here? Ah, very good. Uh, Leju, did you have the wide band or just a regular band? I'm trying to decide which one I want for my 10-year anniversary. It was the wide band. It was the wide band. Yes, indeed. The Ring of Power. Wolfman Sax is here. Oh, great bearded one is here, too. Good to see you guys. Joe says, hey, Sal, I found more silver metal detecting this month than I found in my local coin shop. Nice. All right, Joe. Good job. Way to go. And Unless he didn't find any at his local coin shop, which means that he may have only found a dime. All right. Harvey Greensman, thank you so much, my friend. Good to see you. Uh, Wayne Stewart says, very nice. Thank you, Wayne. Congratulations on the coin, he says. Appreciate that, Wayne, very much, very much. Uh, did you hear the mask a part of the Illuminati ritual? Ooh, I did not hear that. There's so many conspiracy theories that will that are out there now. I'm surprised there's not more, but more will be coming, I'm sure. Pablo Pina says, nice points. It's mentioned many times about the infrastructure stimulus, which will be good for base commodities and silver. Yes, that's right. Barbara Carbone had to leave, but she said she would back. Okay, thanks, all those one now. I appreciate that. Taking the kids for a quick bike ride. All right, no problem. Have fun with the kids, Savage Stacker. I always appreciate you being here. Thank you so much, my friend. All right. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Ah, where are we at? Okay. Mark Menlin says, wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't it crazy? These men took off and stole. They got away with it scot-free. A lot of gold, silver bars with Sal and the Fluffy Kitty. Yes, it was us. We did it. We did it. People who online bully are cowards. Man, that's right. 
Nice little kitty there. Okay, very good. When to go sell? How'd you do it? I well, it's my secret. I just I had to charter a private jet to do it. Private plane, not a jet. Private plane. Let's have another um, almond. All right. Captain Jack Sparrow is at it again. He's a hard asset stacker. That's right. He sure is. He sure is. Indeed. The treasure seeker is here. Good to see you. El Por No is here. Good to see El Por Cano. Welcome, my friend. Mm. Okay. Low blood pressure. That's one way to get some metal. It sure is. It sure is. Yep. Indeed it is. <clears throat> Nicholas Kahn, the slipper that slapped his face is on the picture. Is he looking? Is he himself holding it? All right. Yes, indeed. Well, what could be? I think I missed something there. Glenn D says, check the mountains, check the mountains. Plans go down, check the mountains. De plane, de plane. Fascinating indeed. I'm smarter for sure with every Salome video I watch. Dore. Yes, indeed. Dore, dore, dore. Thank you. Italiano. Or French, I mean. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hmm. Got one little almond left after this. I'm going to eat it, I promise. Wow, so Joe has really had some good luck metal detecting out in Seattle. He found a 1929 Standing Liberty quarter and a 45 Mercury dime, a quarter and a dime, and a gold chain. That is incredible. Um, am I allowed to post URLs in the chat? I don't want to get blocked. Oh, yeah, sure, you can. Um, uh, I trust you. Uh, I don't know if it'll let you. Let me make you a mod real quick. Um, so you can do it. Let's see here. Yeah, now you can post a URL. Check out Wolfman Sack's channel, by the way. Incredible, says Montague. Yeah, oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how they're able to do that. It really is. As we go through the comment section here. The Last of the Almond Brothers Band. That's right, Speg. All right, let's see here. And uh, we've got uh, Sean Mountain. Martin says, every time you say, let's explore, I envision you as a hippie stoner with a ponytail walking around your home with a cockatiel on your shoulder. That's an interesting visual. Wow. I never th thought of me as being like that. Okay, all right. Hmm. Ah, let's see here. Sons of D.B. Cooper. There you go. That's right, old D.B. Cooper. I wonder whatever will happen to D.B. Cooper. All right. Okay. Tomoko's Enterprise says, Thanks, Sal and Dean, for the fine. Takes all kinds. Yes, indeed. It sure does. From one Dean to another. That's right. Thank you, Dean. Captain Kenji. Now, this is hilarious. Payday 2, anyone? Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, sounds like wild geese, says Unoral Mish. Yes. Wild geese and the gander. Wild geese and the gander. Cool stories, says T-Square Talk. Thank you, T-Square. Got a Benjamin on his profile picture. Hmm. El Porcano, thank you so much. New Zealand $20 Super Chat. Have a good weekend, sir. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you, El Porcano. You are the man. Appreciate that so much. Have a great weekend. It's already the weekend for you. It's already Saturday morning where you're at. And uh, Kuna Coins is here. Hello, Kuna Coins. And Dove Season 91 is here. Good afternoon. Dove Season has posted his first video. So check out Dove Season 91's channel. Give him a subscription. Click on his, on the uh, go to his message. Click on the three dots. And uh, there's a name for that. It's Ellipsy or something like that. And then click on it and go to channel. Uh, or, you know, uh, go to user channel. When you click on that, it'll you take you right there. Take you right there. All right. Bill 457. The, uh, they are Dore bars from the mine. And they are not pure bars. They have to be refined. Yes, that's right. Exactly right. Between 75 and 80% pure. Joe says, insured by fiat currency. That's a joke. I know, exactly. I agree. Crazy to think about. Oh, 
Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. Silver Watcher says, and here, like a fool, I've been buying it the entire entire time. That's all I had to do. Yes, indeed. All right. Okay, no problem. D.B. Cooper and the money he took. Uh, you can look for answers, but that ain't fun. Now we got in the pit, and we got to try and love someone. Get a boogie. Jump the boogie. All right. Probably been better robbing a coin. Probably, probably done better robbing a coin shop. Yeah. Get the pure stuff. Don't want them about refining it. Okay. Sal, did you commit the heist? I sure did. I No, I would never admit to such a thing, Wolfman. But I will admit to calling a scammer. We got another one. This might be the only one. We've been having a harder time with the COVID. The scammers have not been as much in force as of late. It's been very difficult to get these scammers to... Okay, here we go. We've got um, SAB. Let's try to call this one here and see if they'll answer. Let me see if you hear a, an echo in the line when it rings here. Let me... Thank you for calling Fast Capital 360. You've reached the SBA's accounts team. Hang on while we connect you with an account specialist. Oh, this might be, what's his name again? Uh, shoot. What was the guy's Fast Capital? I forgot this is Fast Capital. What is his name? That's too good of a riff to pass. I gotta, I gotta play to this. Copyright strike on that. Hello, you reached oh, our dang customer it. success team. We appreciate your patience and call to assist other businesses. Please leave your name, company name, and phone number, and we'll be sure to call you back. I gotta call. I gotta call that back for the on hold thing. Although it sounds like it's in a different tuning, so I might not be able to uh, play with it. But we'll see here. That's what she said. Let's try it out. Our customer oh, success on. team. We appreciate your patience while we assist other businesses. Please leave your name, company okay, name. Okay, we don't want to leave a name. Thanks, Dove Season. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're posting videos, my friend. Yes, indeed. So check out Dove Season for sure. Hey, thanks, Wolfie. Appreciate that. Ask for a date. Yes, indeed. I've got an almond here. I don't have any dates right here. Sounds a little Chinese. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the two ounce swan you featured. $46. It's flaw free. Thanks for turning me on to it. The two ounce swan. Are you talking about the two ounce goose? The goose for the gander, right? Yeah, that's the, uh, the, uh, the goose. Yeah. Strings I use. I use um, Diodario uh, NXDY. Forget the name of them, but. Um, it is not a Telecaster. It is a ESP Horizon. And Joe Costello. Yes, thank you. Wolfie, plans during quarantine. Tonight, uh, may, um, 
Well, I just finished up watch Making a Murderer, Making a Murderer, and watched both seasons of that. And I will probably be, um, maybe doing that Tiger King thing, perhaps. But other than that, I can't think of anything. The string I use is called Spider Wire. Wow. All right, where are we at? Okay, let's get back to these comments. We do have one more scammer we can try to call. Let me try to call him real quick. Let me see, where is that one? Ah. Bo Lively, Circadian Rhythm Funding. We've already talked to him. Uh. Oh, let's try to call this guy. This guy, he says, coronavirus alert. Time is running out to acquire funding for your business. We are still funding. Call us immediately before it's too late. Okay, we don't want to be for it before it's too late, so let's try to call. Let's see what kind of on hold music we can get to this. Where's my pick? There it is. What? Son of a... I gotta try that again. Come on, man. It's not like that. Let me try to call him from here. I gotta, I'm gonna try this one way or the other. I'm gonna try to get a hold of these people. Let's see if it'll do it. Come on, come on. Let's do Sorry, the. The number you called was busy. Please try again later. Sorry, the number you called was busy. Please try again later. Disculpe, el número que usted ha llamado está ocupado. Por favor, intente de nuevo más tarde. Message 14. Switch. 2, 3, 2, 0. Tarde. Crazy. Insane. All right. Uh, let me try. What was the other? Let's try one more. I've got... Um, the one guy said here, um, where is that text? No, that's not it. That's not it. Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, here it is. Okay. It is Shelton. Shelton with Big Think Capital. Let's try to call Shelton. And, uh... Come on, Shelton. Is this Shelton? Hey. Yes, this is Shelton. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. I, I, it was strange because I called and then it stopped ringing uh -huh. and I thought, well, there's something going on there. I heard background noises and usually when somebody calls another person, the person who is being called will say hello first. But I took the initiative and said hello first, even though I'm the mm -hmm. one calling. That's a very strange situation. That flies in the face of, 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 of the culture of making telephone calls. You understand that, right? No, I, I clearly, I totally understand that. What happened is um, you call my lane line phone and uh, I'm, not, I'm not there at home to pick it up. It goes to my cell phone. So doing that transfer, I figure this is where all the discommunication happens. Right, because normally one would say, 
Hello, this is Shelton with Big Think Capital. Can I help you? You know what I mean? Yes. I I totally agree. Like it's because you calling um the call transfer goes to my cell phone and uh, instead of uh on my other phone. That's why. Oh, I see. Are you calling regarding an email you received from me for finance for your business? Yes, yes. I want to get some financing for my business on this Good Friday. And what I need is uh, is some funds. For I, I want to get special coronavirus-proof uh, guitar strings. Uh, we're starting a new marketing campaign for Corona COVID-19 proof guitar strings, and I'm playing them right now. What they're 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 specially coated with silver to protect them from the coronavirus. Uh, but they have a pretty bright tone, huh? Do you own a business? Yeah, of course. That that's exa- I mean. I just said that I make these guitar strings, and we need funding for it. So if I didn't have a business, I you wouldn't have contacted me. And what's the uh, monthly growth of the business? Uh, well, what's really gross is like somebody puking up from the coronavirus. I, I'm, what I'm doing is not gross at all. It's about getting rid of the gross. It's this. It's to prevent people from getting it. You know what I mean? Which would be gross. Uh-huh. So, okay, I, I, these are silver coated strings. They're silver. They're not copper wound strings like Wolfie is, uh, suggests. These are silver wound strings. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And so we need to get, we need to procure the silver. We're trying to get below spot price for the silver. We think we can do it through the COMEX. And we want to try to uh, manipulate the markets. So I need money for that to get it on artificially low stuff. But nothing, there's nothing gross about this. I'm, I'm, I run a legitimate business. There's nothing gross about it at all. You understand? No, the question, the question was the monthly gross of the business. How much money that's bringing in every month? Uh, the monthly gross. It sounds like you're still insinuating that there's something despicable about the business, or that's that's a. Uh, that sounds dirty when you hold say Hold on it. one second, okay? Uh, hold on one second, okay? I have another call, okay? Hold okay, on. I'll hold on, I'll hold on. Oh, let me call him back. We've got disconnected for some strange reason. Hmm. I'm going to give him the business, that's right. Dang it, why is he not answering, Sheldon? Come on, Sheldon. Silver lime panties, now there you go. Strange reason, what is going on with this guy? Riders on the storm, you do not watch your porn. We're riders on the storm, you slurp your coffee like the norm. You eat your walnut with your corn. Hmm. Silver drill pickle stuck in traffic. We got Barbara Carbone back with us. We have just very little coffee. I'm saving it for Barb. The voicemail box of 631-860-3478. At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. We'll try to call him back. We'll try to call him back. Let's get back to these. Let's get back to the front here. Uh, Jadong Kim says, I know it was you. Uh, show me a gold unboxing. Be safe and healthy. There you go. Exactly. You knew it was me. You knew it. You just knew it. You knew it. That's right. I'm always blamed for all the bad stuff. Indeed. Sal is my drug. There you go. And it's gone. Hey, thank you, my friend. All right. Slurp your coffee warm. That's the scammer if he's isolating. That's right. I wish I could if he'd answer. 
Bill457 says, I looked up spot today and it was closed. So I was ready to walk out the window and not jump this time. But it was good Friday and I want to enjoy Easter. Yes. Do not jump. That's right. Very good. Do not jump. Let's see. Now I see I have a sixpence, by the way. Here I could play it like um Like Brian May. He uses a sixpence to, to play guitar. Has a different feel to it. All right. So, 46K to 4.1 million. If it's gold's second number, seems right. Yes. Exactly. There you go. He did the math for us. Zif, Zif, Zifil did. Thank you. Hardcore stacking. Indeed, Chuck and Naka one. You're right. That's for sure. Hit the nail on the head on that one. Boom. We got Russ is here. Russ, good to see you. Jim Farrell is still here. It is a new reality indeed. For sure. William Birkin Road. They didn't need a stinking badge. Golden Sierra Madres. That's right. Hillbilly and prepping proves you need to have gold. Get it any way you can, something. That's right. Indeed, indeed. Gold it any way you can. It wasn't me, says uh, Robert Waterman. It was not you. So you're off the suspect list now. Donald, New Mexico, in all capital letters. Sal weighs three and a half little people. There you go, three and a half little people. That's right, exactly. That's right. Little, little people. Sal, did you get locked down the hall, belt, locked down the beltway yet? Yes, I'm locked down. I can't go nowhere. I'm still working, believe it or not, but that's about it. Ah, the security guards probably had pea shooters, probably, so I would not be surprised. Russ says, sounds like an inside insurance job to me. Be strong, be safe, and be blessed. Yeah, there's always that suspect, a thing that could possibly be something like that. But uh, we shall see. Inside job, says Chris. Insurance fraud, says Total Bullion. So a string of comments. To that regard, for sure, very well could be. Hello, Ozzy Alchemist. Good to see you, sir. Good morning to you. All right. Donna, New Mexico says, Thanks also to Dean. Your first thought was terrorist. I thought maybe an inside job could possibly have terrorists inside their operation. Very well could be. I was thinking, you know, a drug-related type of deal. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds like an inside job. Yep. Yep. That's because these are all kind of bulked together, these comments. All right, Dale. Uh, Dale's leaving. Take care, guys. I'm off to plant my egg. All right. Thank you, Dale Vale. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you, my friend. Big Tex Bullion. The timing of this is crazy. My local coin shop was hit last night here in Houston. There aren't many open as it is. Owners in shock and obvious pain. They got a lot and destroyed a lot. Terrible sometimes where we live in. It sure is. Support your local business as much as possible. He's a resilient man. I'm thankful to have health, but this is a massive blow. Prayers to any people, business, ruin in unprecedented times. Yes, my heart goes out to him. I'm so sorry. That is tough. Wow. Man. Bit by silver bug. Cartel and maybe inside job. The pilots were in on it, maybe. Yes. Very good. Certainly the pilot of the... Uh, of the plane that, that planned their escape, for sure. Anyway, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. 
Nice video. One of my YouTube friends. There you go, Eddie. Yes, he's listening. He can't comment, but he can listen. Maybe he's listening now. You never know. You never know. Doing well, Stephen Grafham. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Hanging in there. All right. Silver Steeler says, I swear to God, I had nothing to do with it. Great story and awesome info about the bars. Thank you, Silver Steeler. Appreciate that. Very much, my friend. Okay. Tony Rizzi is here. All right. Good to see you, Tony Rizzi. Frickendell Special, nice rip by Drug Cartels. Cool info with the Dore bars. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yep. Had a little learning there for us. Indeed. Okay. Uh, TRP, anyone know how to get the 20% impurity out of a few bars? Recently got a few on Impurify. Yes, indeed. Good question. You asked at the right place. Oh, my goodness. Okay, very good. Let's see here. Oh, Stephen, you got a channel. I didn't know you had a channel, my friend. Let's check it out. Reaching to go live. Very good. I don't know why. Actually, for me as a moderator, it doesn't let me do do, do the uh, do that for some reason. But that's cool. Bezo says, Dore will excuse me. Five out of five slurp rating. Just when I thought it was out, you pull me back in. Keep doing what you do. Anyone see Tom? Yes. Crazy, crazy. Poor youngsters in love these days. Yeah, I know. I hear you, Joe. It's tough. Gotta be quarantined. We gotta find ways to entertain ourselves. That's right, Barbara. Frank Hughes says, That many people in a, in a 206 with some stolen precious metals? BS. What were they... Uh, what they do steal, one bar each. Yeah, I know. I kind of wondered about that. I questioned the weight. It's over $3 million in gold. That's right, Samson. That would be pronounced Ricci. What's Ricci? Uh, let's see here. What is Ricci? Uh, I just watched that. All right. Very cool. Days and Confused Stacker did. Very good. Gold equals nuts, says Mason Tricks. Yeah, I know. Gold is crazy. It's nuts. The enslavement of Western civilization says, Ah, yes, you see it too. They even commented on my videos. Mine are crap. Indeed, it's um, everywhere. Same as Base Town. You know, yeah, the, all the Base Town, Trap Town videos are same, same deal there. Exactly. Let's have another, let's have the last uh, almond here. Let's eat that. CCT, interesting story. I would think they are not the easiest form to sell on. I know I would think not either. They must have a smelter or something to bring them in a line, is my guess, but I don't know. What do I know? <clears throat> here it goes with the last of the coffee. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that was good coffee. Ozzy Alchemist, we're going to buy naked gun condoms, full body size. Even I can't reach 1.5 meters. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Never hoid of them. I'm not sure. Hmm. A good question. Super Dad, if they catch these guys, I will sure to buy one of those rounds they will make. You can already see the one ounce Toronto robbery silver rounds and 10 ounce bars. Put it next to my gear soap of silver. Anyways, it's a shame. Hope they catch them. People rob from the rich and it only hurts them because in the, because the truth is they're rich for a reason. They didn't lose money to get, get ripped off. They simply give up less to make up any losses in the end uh, through lower pay and higher prices. So everyone, uh, so every theft hurts us. Um, that's right. Morally wrong. That's right. Exactly. We forgot me much are healthy and have our tiny little cute baby stack and reserve if needed. That's right. All right. Exactly. You're watching out those videos for 2,600 ounce stack, full stack videos. That's right. 
Okay, let's see here. Moving on up. I'm not a fake, says Silver Banks. Nope, no one says you were. All right. Very good. Gertrude Perkins says, where on earth do they think they're going to sell it? Surely a reputable refiner would question its origin. I wonder whether they mistakenly thought it was refined gold and silver and not Dore bars. Yes, I know. I just wonder, they must have some sort of refinery themselves or way to do it. That's the only thing I can think of because I don't see how they would get rid of it otherwise. Joe, I'm not sure. Some people suggest that is the case. But the article never said it was an inside job. <clears throat> More likely, a lot of these that I'm find the follow-up stories to them uh, to see. So probably they got away with it. JT West says, dang, yeah, I know, it's crazy. Can you imagine flying out that much gold and silver? Not surprised at a time like this. I know. It's crazy, crazy to think about. Okay. Silver Bean Counter says, I had thoughts of opening a We Buy Gold shop. But man, the risk of theft would be serious. I'll stick with the bean counting. Less dangerous. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Sal, did you go for a plane ride? Yes, Dale. Sure did. Big old plane ride. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> Butchie Harding says, I avoid these stories like the plague. Oh, man. I hear you. Kevin W., I'm looking up at the clear skies as we speak. I see it. Oh, wait, never mind. It was Elvis. We live in crazy times, don't we? There you go. It was Elvis. Elvis is still alive. Yes, indeed. Coins A to Z says, The higher the spot price of PMs, the more worth the risk to steal it. We will hear many more reports of PM and coin thefts in the months to come, I believe. Yes, I think we will, too. I, I I agree with that. I agree with that indeed. My words are just turning into blah, 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 though. So what do I know? Uh, how lightly armed did this gold mine arm their guards? Heck, I bet stacking and packing is armed as, at least uh, as well as these guards. My guess is probably he is, too. That's right. Mark B., I'll admit that I did it. Do you want half of the gold? I'll take it, Mark B., I'll take half. If you take the silver, I'll take the half. <clears throat> did you get the stimulus money? I know, not. I've not received it yet. How about you? Did you get it? Let's see here. Was about to ask Adore what a Dora bar was when you looked at it. Thanks. Also, about a half ounce of gold eagle. Bought a half ounce of gold eagle last night. Everybody can thank me someday. Yes, congratulations, Eddie's. <laughs> Very good. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> That's a very informative. Thanks, Sal. Thank you, Corolla. Appreciate you watching. Let's try to call our scammer back. I think he was trying to just find a way to, to get rid of me by putting me on hold. The moderators are rebelling against me. Shame on them. Yes, indeed. Shelton, we're calling back. Come on, Shelton. Come on, Shelton. Zephiel, good to see you. We're just chilling over here waiting for Shelton to answer. I think he blocked me. I think that's why it's just ringing. I think he blocked my number, that son of a biscuit. That can only mean one thing. We will try to call him back on another line. Yes, indeed. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's do the locomotion. If it'll work. It may not work, but we'll try. Call me. Yes, indeed. Get this back here. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. Come on now. Oh, 
Come on. Column progress. Okay, hold on a minute here. Hmm. ringing it's ringing still ringing after all this time it's still ringing it's crazy i can't believe he's not answering Please deposit 25 cents. You have reached the voice mailbox of 631860347A. the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. <laughs> Shelton, are you the actor from that, what is that show with Sheldon, uh, Brain Theory or Big Bang Theory or whatever that show is? Is that you? Is that you, Shelton? Shelton, I'm calling you. I felt like you gave me the bum rush there. You said, hold on. You said, hold on. And you said, uh, you said you were going to put me on hold because you had another call coming in. But then you hung up on me, and I didn't like that. Because I really need money for this business I've got, Shelton. So I'm going to need you to uh, do me a solid on this one. And I'm not talking the kind of solid that you're thinking of. I'm talking about fundage, some cabbage. Give me some dry powder. Give me some moolah. Some moolah. I need some money, and I need some money fast. Okay, Shelton? Okay? Do you understand what the words that are coming out of my mouth, Shelton? Gonna need it. Gonna need it quickly. I'll try to call you back. I'll try to call you back in just another minute. I'll call you back in just a minute. Okay, Shelton? I'm gonna call you back. Bye, Shelton. Man, I tell you what, Shelton. Man, I tell you what. Aussie Coin Girl is here. Hello, Aussie Coin Girl. Good to see you. I think you're new. Welcome. Yes, Sheldon needs help with my stimulus check. I like the stimulus. Give him the stimulus check, indeed. All right, where are we at? Okay. See, I don't have any other scammers to call. I don't. I, I, there's no other. Let me just see. It's very slim pickings in a COVID-19 world. The scammers have got to. Uh, they're kind of limited on hanging around or being there. I get some Indian scammers from time to time. But not too often, not too often at all. Let's get back here. Let's see if we can find from our stack of, ooh, Derek. Derek here. Okay, here is a phone number we can try. Let's try Derek. Uh, it doesn't even, it's Allied Funding. Let's try Allied Funding. Come on, Derek. It would be amazing if the get getaway plane was identified as Ed Force One. It sure would. Stevens, how do you meet Thank women? Thank you for calling John Fletcher. We are currently closed. At Son. the tone, please leave a message. Son of when a... When you've finished recording, you may hang up. Let's we'll save that for another one. How do you meet women while social distancing? Fl flashing gold and silver isn't working. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's tough. I don't know. Uh, it's a good question. I guess you shouldn't flash something else either, but I don't know. Big Tex Bullion is here. Good to see you. All right, we got some good stuff. I guess we're not having much luck with the scammers tonight. Let's try one more number. Joe Matthews, quick funding. No, uh, nothing there. Merchant Source, call us. For COVID-19 funding. They're, everybody's taking advantage of this COVID thing, the coronavirus. I need coronavirus funding. I need for the funding from a coronavirus. Need it. 
Oh my gosh, crazy. Hmm. When wife is social distancing me. Yeah, there you go. I hear you. I hear you, Stephen. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Dave Mudd. You've reached the office of Merchant Source. Our hours of operation are 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Please leave your name, telephone number, and a brief message. We will call you back promptly. Thank you for calling Merchant Source. Merchant Force, I need you quick. I need you now, Merchant Force. I need the coronavirus funding now. I need to get the funding before the coronavirus ends. I need COVID-19 funding, $19 million for COVID-19. Call me back, do it now, because we need to make this work. I'm anxious to pay a 46% interest rate on COVID-19 funding. Do it now. <laughs> Okay, now we've got uh, this cell number of this guy. I'm going to give that a shot. Who is this guy? We're calling David Mudd, everybody. We're calling David Mudd. David Mudd. His name is Mudd. I wish uh, Mudswat was here. Boy, it'd be great to have Mudswat here while we call David Mudd. David Mudd. Mudd. This is Dave. David Mudd? Yes, sir. Yes, so, hello. Yes, sir. I was calling you about the uh, coronavirus funding uh, for okay. the uh, for the, our Paycheck Protection Program here. Uh, and so I wanted to see okay. if we can make that work out since the CARES Act, you know, and so, you know, you're sending this email to let me know about the Paycheck Protection Program. So we were interested in taking yeah. advantage of that. Okay. Um do you have the documents available to send me, and can you fill that application out I sent you? Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I have a couple of questions about this uh, for you, Mr. Okay. Mudd. Um, how does, does this exactly, can you tell me exactly, can you walk me through the process of how this will work? So you'll fill out the paperwork. There will be an amount de amount determined that has that's coming to you. Right. Um, and uh, we'll send all that in, and... The government will figure out when they can pay you. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm hoping it's not too long, but everybody's eligible, everybody's eligible right. that pay, has payroll, uh, and they'll pay you two and a half times your average monthly payroll in a loan that's forgivable with no interest. But we have to do it through Paramount Payment Systems, correct? Well, you can do it through any bank, anybody that has an SBA, has an SBA bank uh, or has ex access to SBA banks. To be able to submit it so some banks and some of the bigger banks are already tapped out of their funds so like wells fargo was not taking applications i think they are again but um you can do it wherever you want we're just trying to help some of the customers and people that are in our database because people don't know about it or people aren't being educated properly about it so right. and we're, we're not we're not charging people anything to do it um so it's basically you know, we're doing the work for you because we want to help you out. It's a good time to help people out right now. Oh, yeah. It's a great time. Great time. Because I, I, I need money. I, what I need the money for is I've got this business that uh, I've got these guitar strings that I've, I mean, I manufacture them. And I want to, I soak them in rhodium. Uh, and yeah. what that does is it, pro, it, it repels the coronavirus. It repels. Oh, really? Yeah. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Are you going to put me in a hole like the last guy did and not, never come back? Say that again? Say, were you going to put me in a hole and then never come back like the last guy? No. No, I'm back oh. already. I was, I'm a little sore. I was you're, you're a little sore. Why are you sore? Deli. What happened? I'm in the store buying groceries. Huh? Oh, you're in the store buying family. groceries. Are, are you wearing a mask? I am. Are you practicing Thank social? Well. Your, your voice sounds pretty clear for wearing a mask. That's pretty good. I have a mask over my face right now. Yeah. Are you social distancing, staying at least six feet away? Uh, there's no, there's no. Well, there's, there's a guy behind me that's probably five feet away, but I just moved a little bit further away from him. There you go. That's what you got to do. You got to, <laughs> you got to put like an app on your phone that will just, uh, 
you know, you know, keep people at bay. You know what I mean? That's that's right. There you go. That's, I'm being careful, but I mean, you got you got to you got to do what you got to do. That's right. We sure do. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, very good. All right. Well, well, sounds good. Um. Well, this is this is pretty cool. Um. And uh, yeah, let me let me look. How long at my... have, you, have you been in business a while? Have you? I mean, what? Can you tell me a little bit about your business? Only about fourteen you years. Do? Only about fourteen years. Fourteen. Yeah. Oh well, that's a while. Yeah. But okay, if you look at the well, grand scheme of I, multi-generational, uh, you know, dynasties, it's not really that long when you think about it in that time. I know, but in the business world, it's actually a long time because a lot of people don't make it that long. Yeah, okay, okay. So, I thought about getting into the – and see, the thing is, I was thinking about getting into the business of making silver slides, but I, I've got pretty, some pretty stiff competition in that regard. But but I'm just sticking well, with I'm these guitar, guitar player, strings. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a music guy, so I can relate to what you're doing. Right, right. Yeah, that's cool. Well, these strings, I think, are going to really help um, in a post-pandemic world with these things. You dip them in rhodium, and uh, that really does. And it also helps the tone. I mean, you know, just, I've got a, this is a, 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 a set of strings that I've got on this guitar right now. It's, uh, these are prototypes, and I think they sound pretty bright. They sound good. They sound good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry about that last note. I was uh, I was a little off the fret on that one. I was a little nervous. I'm... It's all right. It's all right. I'm uh, trying to get my fingers back in shape myself. I haven't played a lot lately. Yeah. I got okay. a buddy at work that's been bringing his acoustic in. I've been teaching him some stuff. Cause, I mean, I've had a band. I've traveled around. I used to play music. Never at, for full time, but we, you know, we used to make money at it. So yeah. Back when I was in real estate, we 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 our real estate business were kind of on autopilot, and we would travel around. And we opened up for a lot of big acts and. Nice. Recorded some albums. And what was the name of the right band? Now. What's that? What was the name of her band? Was it Overkill by any chance? It was called Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy. We're on Spotify. You can, you can look us up. We're on Spotify. On Spotify. Cool. On Spotify. Nice. Sweet. What bands? What's yeah. What's the most famous band you've opened up for? Uh, well, we've opened up for the Killers. Okay. We've opened up for the Black Crows. We've opened up for. Matchbox 20. Um, oh, wow. All right. Man. Uh, Jeff Healy. Jeff Healy. Um, Angel Eyes. Jeff Healy. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jeff I, can't, Healy. I can't remember all of them, but some good ones. Uh, that's probably the best ones that I can think of. There's a few other ones, famous ones. I just, I'd have to go back to We played for a long time. So. Matchbox 20. Okay, that's yeah. going to be the next uh, iteration of, of, of the coronavirus. You know, you have COVID 19, Matchbox 20, you know. Then, <laughs> then we'll have Hot yeah. Wheels 21. You know, I can't wait for Hot Wheels 21. But yeah, yeah, no, that's great. Nice. That's awesome. You play guitar then, right? I assume. That's nice. Yeah, I do. And I, I, I need, I'm kind of getting back into it. I, I haven't played a lot. I mean, we, we kind of broke up back in the late 2000s, and and uh, all of us were going through a lot of crap during that time because of the economy. And right. So I really kind of set it aside. I'm really, a, a, I'm originally a plant piano player. I play keyboards. Oh, keyboard. Okay. So, um, all right. Nice. And I'm a vocalist, so I sing, but... Uh, you know, the more you play music and the more bands, I can play the bass. Too. I, for most of the band's time, I play the bass guitar. Oh, bass. Oh, there you because, go. Bass. Yes. Yes. Nice. And well, nice. because our bass player left and it's like we didn't want to complicate it, so I learned how to play the bass. Right. And, you know, two, two months after I started playing the bass, we were recording our, I think it was our third album. Okay. And I, I played bass on our third album after just starting to play bass, you know. I, it was pretty rudimentary, but a lot of times when you record on the bass, it is pretty basic. That's you don't get too crazy. It's not like play, it's not like playing live no. when you're trying to trying to be real tricky and fun, you know fancy. Like you don't want to do like pretty, a Les Claypool pretty, pretty, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But when you when you're playing when you're playing for fabric and for rhythm and and trying to put a you know rhythm section together, you don't get too crazy on the, when you're recording. Not just here and there, but not a lot. That's right. You yeah. kind of build it up. Keep it in the pocket, right? Ago. That's what they call keeping in the pocket. Yeah, you keep, Keep it in the pocket. Don't you're not you're not trying to overplay it, you know. That's right. I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be Getty Lee because there's only one Getty Lee. That's right. Exactly <laughs> right. There sure is. And yeah. there's only one uh, Les Claypool too. You ever heard of Les Claypool? Oh, of course, of course. Yep. So hey, all right. Well, you know what? If you can get that stuff over to me. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything with it till Monday morning, but if you have it over to me or if you get most of it over to me and you can finish it up on Monday, I can get that stuff in for you. My 
My recommendation is that you get on it quickly because that's what she said. It's a nice program, but there's going to be some money. There's only so much money available. Right, I, I hear. There's out. only two point so two trillion dollars. Out, that's it. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, they're trying to add. They're trying to add two hundred and fifty more billion to it. Right. Yeah. I don't think that's. I don't think that's passed yet, but they're trying to do that. Okay. Sounds good. So, All right. Yeah. So let's get on that, and then uh, I'll check in with you on on Monday. All right. That sounds like a plan. I appreciate it so much, sir. All right. Well, you talk I'm going to you're slap this face a little bit care. for you while we got on, the, on our way out. So yeah, <laughs> we'll we'll do it. Do, do some slapping the base, man. <laughs> See you, brother. See you later. All right. Take care. Bye bye. I can't figure out how to hang up. How do we hang up? Oh, wait, he did. He hung up first. All right, very good. All right. Okay, all right. We got the bass and the guitar out. I had to pull the bass out for him. Okay, nice. Well, very good. Well, that was intriguing. Here's a... A guy that was in a band and he decided to be a scammer instead of being in a band. He should have stuck with the band. Oh my goodness. And where are we? Where were we? Let's get back to the front. We we're on these comments. <laughs> we we're on these comments. And I get to get to the comment skill. Let me get my boilerplate back. Where's my boilerplate? There it is. Get on it quickly. That's right. He wants me to get on it. He likes me, wants me to get on it quickly, Hawaii Silver. That's right. Exactly. Okay. Alan Gold is on New Mexico. I can tell. Yeah, where is Alan Gold? Alan Gold's not been around. I want to hope he didn't get the COVID. I hope he didn't get the COVID. It's insane in the membrane. Heat cartel. So slow stacker. Yes, the hashtag heat. The heat is on. On the street, Andrew Booth, Booth says, I believe it. That's right, I believe it. Stolen, stolen, stolen. Rolling, well, more money is scam, scamming. That's right, that's true. There's more money in scamming, that's right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bob Often says, and the security guards had body cameras. No one shot inside job. Yeah. I know, yeah, you would think they would have body cameras. It's crazy. Hmm. Stack some booze. Even if you don't drink, it's good for barter. That's true, and it really is. No tricky guy, and no Alan Gold. We don't have tricky guy either. We don't have Pudenda Johnson. We don't have Pamela Rice. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Lorax Tribe. Series says 2,600 ounces, 162 pounds. The weight of a man, more or less. Sounds like an inch shop job. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Thank you. Uh, it seems like it's more than that. 72, 72, I think it's more than ours, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe my math was off. Colton Fowler sounds like an inside job. Yep. Sterling Cannabis, I was not armed, and I asked very nicely if I could have that gold. They lie. I tell you, they lie. All right, there you go. We get the real story from Sterling Cannabis, a real story there. All right, very good. Let's see. We were able to get uh, Mr. Mud on there. My name is, I should ask him if his name, his name was Mud. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get Lisa Davis on the phone for the Coronavirus Relief Program. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Lisa. Lisa and Cult Jam. Let's, 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 do you feel me, sister? Come on, Lisa, 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 Lisa. And I scroll through these comments. Bob often says, I'm currently making a biscuit. 10 more save. There you go. Suggestion. Oh, man. My biscuit 10 more save. I don't know. That's a, oops, that's her phone number. I don't want that. I don't want... I want to get my boilerplate stuff back. Hi, you've reached Lisa Davis. I apologize for missing your call. Please leave your name and number at the tone, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much. We'll try back. We want to save that one. We don't leave a goofy message because... She might be one we want to keep. Yes, indeed. Lisa from Guidance Fund and Funding. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's a, Lisa got the right person. Joe Matthews. That's a negatory ghost writer. And what else do we have? 
Ashley Baker. What's another one here? Uh, no number with that one. That one's going to be a negative. Let's see what's in the spam. Let's see if we can find something here. We'll try one more here. We'll see here. And they're not showing up. All right, that's it. We've done through. We've done our, our due diligence tonight. For that, very good. How many people we got watching here? 62, so we're dropping off like a bunch of flies. Some people are getting bored. I hope they get caught, says Gold Digger. Yes, indeed. Hope they do, too. It'd be nice to see them rot for their crime. Silver Bullet, the coin shop was open today. Was able to get a few ounces. Nice. Congratulations. That's cool. They are open today. Uh, let's see here. Ozzy Alchemist, time for a new security firm, better surveillance equipment, and higher insurance premiums. Cheers, Sal. Thank you, Ozzy. That's right. Ben Frank says, time to bring in George Clooney and Matt Damon for questioning. That's right, exactly. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Hey, Sal, says Terry. Hello, Terry. Good to see you. As we wind down this live stream here tonight, we've been going for over an hour and a half, so I think we're we're getting to the end of the comments here, too. Scammers are scum of the earth, says Adrian. I have to, have to agree with you on that one. Katie Scrapper, I learned today that Mexican cartels are laundering money through precious metals. Yes, they sure are. We've actually posted videos about that. That's why I was wondering if the cartels were on it. So let's see here. Silver Heist says... First, on the $1,700 gold price, gold hit a five to seven year high. New York closed. Now a break for Easter weekend. Happy Easter, Sal. Happy Easter to you. Yes, indeed. Happy Easter. Hello, Bob Often. Getting near, I'm thinking uh, greater than 2,000 soon. You might be right. I'm bullish on it, too. I think we're going to get the new highs this year. I really do. Slurp for Barb. All right, here's a slurp for Barb. Mm. Ah, okay. Manier, nice sharing like video. Thanks, Manier. Now, this is one of those. This guy, he is legitimate because uh, he's been posting for a while for sure. I don't see him in any, any other channels. Uh, fifth says Donald, New Mexico. Thank you, Donald. Drinking a fifth of liquor. Try 22,000 by June, says Galena. Yeah, you may, yeah, never know. People have been saying 2,000 by, by the end of the year. I think we're 2,000 in 2020, so we'll see. Larry, I don't know what's going on. Today's charts are really wonky. I don't know what that means. All the markets and the charts are weird. Yeah, I don't know how they're quoting them. It's been crazy. A lot of them have been kind of all over the place, if you're right. Silver Turtle says, I only wish I could bought more gold. It's definitely holding its own during these uncertain times. It sure is. It really is, Silver Turtle. You're exactly right. Thank you for watching, sir. Got to pull a fryer out of the oven, says Joey. Good evening. God bless. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being here. Have a good one, Joe. Mason Trick says, it will hit 20 grand soon. Silly rabbits, on one hand, you will be like, wow. On the other hand, you will be like SHDF scenario, realizing, oops, that paper is worthless. Look into Lebanon, once a great nation, tourism, wealth, etc. The path to the third world does not happen in one stages. It's, it's, it is stages. The cash holders will be next. Get screwed. Understand also that at some point, soon as well, the mega hold holders will no longer accept the dollar. Poor leadership, sadly, has a wicked evil sign. Yes. All right. Crazy. All right. Good night, Meteo Man. Good to see you, sir. Have a good weekend. Have a great weekend, CyberCurrent Twitcher. It's already a Saturday for him. Appreciate you, sir. Yes, indeed. Sterling Cannabis says, Does unlimited printing make worthless fiat even more or less than nothing? I can't even go buy some gold. If we are caught 40 minutes from home, uh, we can be arrested. Yes, I know. It's crazy. Some places are really locking down there. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Maybe because it's Good Friday. That's right, Larry. Katie Scrapper says, Now all gold holders are going to be rich. 
I'm making my garden bigger, learning how we can. Good idea, definitely. Grow your own food is a good way to do it. If I had a golden thumb, I would try that for sure. Shoot, just when I was ready to add gold to my jewelry making figures. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Seven Black Swan Swan Song. I bet you make some beautiful jewelry. Yes, indeed. I check the markets. Rated one and one quarter slurps. They're closed. Nothing to check. We checked them in this video. All right. They're very good. Native Stacker. Sell a hope you didn't forget to hide the plane. They can trace that back to us. Well, we were smarter than that. We figured a way we... We dismantled that plane. There's no trace of it anywhere. No trace of the plane. Mm. No shots were fired inside job. Yes, exactly. I was surprised, <clears throat> surprised at that. Gold will always go up. 1,700, 1,800, 2,100. There you go. Left Chris. Coins. This seemed like it. Is this live? This is live right now, Terry. The video was live when I recorded it. Kevin W. says $1,700 on normal. Recall 2019 many experts were forecasting $1,700 would be a given by the end of 2020. I think $2,000 is, is gold is a safer bet. If not higher, people who have not taken advantage of silver and gold will regret what is in the future. That's called fear of missing out. And although I caution to some of it, uh, there is some truth to that. It seems like the way things are going, most indications are more bullish on the metals than not. Um, Zephiel, have you ever bought a silver or gold contact and collected the metal? Um, silver and gold contact. I'm not sure what you mean by that. I've got a memory chips and CPU with gold in it, but you have to have special chemicals to get it off of there, and I've never tried to recover that. multi -gun man, how you doing? Good to see you. Stephen Grafham, metal, if gold was $20 uh, when we were on a gold standard and gold $1,600, does that mean we're getting $15 on our stimulus checks, $1,200 checks? Yeah, exactly. The way it would have been if it were back then. That's for sure. Let's see here. All right, where are we at? In the comments. Ghost Punk. Where does that saying come from? Curiosity got the better of me. Curiosity is the better of us. I mean, it comes at the empathy empathy and donor and alike if it's up there. Electra is a new term to me. I wonder if you mix platinum with gold, you get gold pressed latinum. Intriguing bit. Yes, yeah, electrum, but yes, indeed, yes. Be interesting to see. The alloys are, for sure. Junius Melt, we just uploaded a great video today. How bad is it? Metal tells it like it is. Uh, tells it, check it out. All right, you have to check it out. Thank you. Junius, and it's gone, says Eli. That's right, it is gone. It's out of there. They got away. They got away. Jackson Holden, gold, it was due for a rise anyways. $1,500 is a new floor to overshoot the correction. For six, the bear market down to $1,200, then broke to $1,300. Cutting through $1,400 like Swiss cheese and right through $1,500. Think it'll settle somewhere between $1,700 and $2,000 over the next few years. Only wish I had more money. Was able to grab 30 ounces all between $1,200 and $1,300. Some as low as $1,120 using eBay bucks. They had to sell four. When I was just laid off due to the C-19 for safety net, waiting for unemployment, which I could have bought 100 ounces, just didn't have any more money to buy with. Understand, and I hope you can get back to work soon, my friend. And while we wait for this, I'm going to do some push-ups. I have to put this guitar back. How many will I do? I will determine that. I might do 20. Here we go. Here comes the push-ups. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, there's 20. Okay, we did it. Made it through. Amazing. All right, let's see. I did eight push up, did 20 of them. Oh, man, Jason Drake says, drop and give me 30 push-ups right now. Oh, my gosh, I did 20. I did 20, John. Oh, my gosh, shoot. I let him know I'm here. I just did 20. Well, I'll do 10 more in your honor. John Drake, yes, just did it, just did it. Yeah, all right, there, here we go. John Drake is in here. Before I even saw your comment, I did 20. <laughs> All right, we'll do 10 more here momentarily. Let's see. Boy, oh, there's more comments on this thing. Son of a... It's very good, says Super Arena. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, says Kevin. The coronavirus is a hoax, creating medical martial law, which I need for them. Well, I disagree with that. Um, <clears throat> there's no way they could fake this. There's just no way. But anyways... But, uh, you know, we got to be very careful with our civil liberties and obviously with all that stuff. I agree with that part of it. But anyways, but thank you. Mark Howard says gold definitely going to 2000 and way beyond. Why? Let's explore. Thanks, Al. Getting better all the time. And that's the truth. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Joe says a penny isn't much when you have one, but sure is a lot when you don't. That's right, Joey. Exactly right. Sal, just don't jink the price of the PMs. That's right, I won't. I hope it goes lower because I want to buy more. But then, so yes, indeed, it's a good cost for me because now I hold gold. But it's bad for me because now I want to buy more. Yes, that's right. It's good if you're holding it. It's bad when you want to buy. Show us, Sal. Show us, show us what? Oh, my chest. Oh, you don't want to see my chest. Yes, indeed. My give away my identity. Let's see here. And Euro announces 1740 euros. It shows the fact how weak the, is the dollar right now, how weak demand for oil is. In fact, good for me and other Europeans. Let's buy more gold. Thanks, mister. All right. There we go. Gold price still has a lot of possibilities to move higher. Says coins A to Z. All right. Very good. Somebody is always wanting something for nothing. It's a shame. That's right. Especially if it's insurance fraud. That's right. Mm. P. Whale says, I was wondering who that guy was. He's on almost every time of my YouTube subscription. Yes, that's right. We know him. He's the scammer. Seek Eternity on the 2020 Platinum Unboxing. Silver Gold Canada has this Platinum for 288 premium over spot. Silver Gold Canada price is garbage. One ounce gold maples, 334 over spot. Crazy premiums. Wow. Of course, that's Canadian dollars too, but... Uh, let's see, Lima Echo Numismatics. Imagine if Tom commented on this video and said, nice content, you deserve more views. Well, it won't happen because he's blocked. But that would be something if he did. All right. Bruce Neander, fear in the economy, run to safe haven gold will do what it does, hold value when nothing else will. Time is gold, best friend. Yes, that's true. You're right. Very true. FJM, I bought at fifteen thirty nine back in November. Wish I could have bought more. Yes, I know what you mean. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. That's for sure. Yes. All right, we got a little support from people who bully our cowards. Man, oh man, says Bill Gowdy. All right. And uh, do thirty push ups. Yep, we're gonna do ten more to wrap it up at thirty. Richard C says nice haul. Bless you says. Travis Hayward, thank you so much. That sneeze. Thank you, sir. Travis, appreciate that. Colorado Kid is here. Hello. Okay, let's see here. All right, there we go. All right, so let's do 10 more push-ups because he demanded drop and do 30 push-ups right now. So here we go. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. 30 at a time would be pushing it for me. Let's see here. We'll do 10 more. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15. All right, 15, so that makes 35 total. We did 15 more there. Yes, Happy Easter. Happy Good Friday and Easter. Good to see you guys. All right. Well, we made it through, guys. We made it through yet another live stream on this Good Friday. And remember how important this day is, everybody. Um, for sure. You know, it is. Uh, of course, we should remember this day every day. Same thing with Easter. Same thing with Christmas. It doesn't have to be something that you think about just once a year or what have you. Um, because, you know, Easter is known as Resurrection Day, and every day is Resurrection Day. But anyways, I appreciate you guys, and a happy Easter to you. A multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Keep your feet in the stars and keep reaching for the ground. Thank you all for being here. Have a good night. Take care, all.